Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum, my new series. I have never played this game, I just started it up uh, five minutes ago to see if everything was working and uh, that's it. So uh, let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. Okay. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Ooh. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I know very little about this game. It's supposedly a puzzle first-person thingy by one of the creators of Portal. If you take your luggage Portal? into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. So it's probably going to be puzzles aimed around physics. I really like the portal games, so I guess I'm going to like this. Click to pick up, click to drop, click to pick up. What does right click do? Throw. Okay. Yes, perfect. Drop and mouse. Okay, so I cannot hold an okay. So I cannot hold an object and push a button at the same time. Oh. Let's talk. Oh. What was oh that? God. My controller is still connected to the thing and he started vibrating. Uh, I'll be right back and fix all that stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, there was an uh, option still checked about uh, the controller uh, vibration thing. So I turned it off. And I reviewed the controls at the same time. Everything seems to be perfect right now. Let's, what's this? A book. The Wizard of Osmium. I can't read it. Let's throw it at his face. Hey! Yeah, physics. I cannot pick this up. It's too heavy. This one. Woo! Oh, whoops! Sorry. Let's move along. Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Okay. Oh. Space and. <laughs> oh I yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be able to use your luggage. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Something isn't quite right here. What's not right? Where? Oh my oh, god. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh. What? 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 Ah. What the hell just happened? Exactly. I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? 
Jump around a bit if you can. Yay. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I, 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 I most certainly go. can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There. Yeah. Ah, much better. Oh, now, right. What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Yes. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Uh, okay, let's do that. It's this way. Uh, so that was interesting. I didn't quite understand what the hell happened, but uh, whatever. My luggage seemed to have disappeared, though. Oh well, we'll find it later, maybe. Who needs changes of clothes anyway? Especially since we seem to be a little kid. A boy. A little boy. Ooh. Hello, soldiers. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. Okay. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will right. remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. That's fine. I might have to turn down the graphics a bit if the game starts lagging on me because of recording stuff. If you and head stuff. over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Left. The office! I found it! Ooh, a glove. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Okay. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. Ooh. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, yep. because it's a glove. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do we do with this? And so I have four buttons, one, three, A and E, which I guess are like the four buttons on the glove. Uh, like this. So I'm guessing every one, every one of them will do something, like portals or something? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, this way. Blueprint tubes. Oh, I can't. I don't have blueprints. What's this? Level select. Oh. Okay. Great. So I can't level select right now. Uh, let's see, this way? If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It Perfect. seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Which one is the blue wing? Is it this way? No, this is where I came from. I guess it's this way. Let's go then. It's a fine collection of mustaches. Hmm. Ah, uh, if I could choose one, I would pick this one. That one is marvelous. Maybe that one. That's nice. I like the the goatee. I'm more of a beard beard faced man myself, but whatever. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean visited. Thankfully, that invention of mine should be infused with more than enough genius to help navigate some of the not-so-childproof areas. That's a nice wiener dog. Uh, so there are childproof areas or so. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying okay. for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Yes. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. 
Oh. Hey, it's a jetpack. Can I... Can I get the jetpack? Can I have the jetpack, please? No? Okay, maybe later. Revenge! Oh, um, no, that's what, not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Whatever. What's this? Oh, the ice ray thingy. That's the one from the cutscene in the beginning. Nice. So he talked about changes to the manor with dimensions. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Okay. It seems like a very inconvenient place to store books. There's no ladder. Oh well, if you have a jetpack, you can do whatever you like. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Okay. I hope he's not going to talk all the time. And I forgot to put my game, my status on busy, or whatever. Let's not jump down. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Yeah, yeah, it looks very advanced. Oh, I, I've guessed the purpose of the puzzle before even completing it. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You'll see what I mean, eventually. Okay. That's a very... Um, 